All right, so today is the 13th of January, 2024. I'm going to put in the description a great... I'm doing the whole head... <laughs> floating head thing again. Oh, boy. Whatever. So I'm going to put in the description a great uh, testimony from... I think it was Congress. Uh, this week, that's why I give you the, the, the date first, regarding fentanyl overdoses that leading to death, 110,000 last year, 110,000. And if you put that in comparison, Wilmington, Delaware, um, Billings, Montana, Dayton, Ohio, bigger than Parma, Ohio, I'm kind of from, well, Cleveland, but I'm, I'm from near Parma. Uh, this got like 95,000, I think Parma has. 90, 95, 90, 95,000, it's probably going less, you know, because people are moving to Florida and Texas. Uh, what other cities that they include? I talked about this back in 2007 on my YouTube channel. It it was take video was taken down. My left arm shoulder is stronger than my right shoulder holding this up, and it was taken down. I I, I don't know why it was taken down, but it was just deleted. So I talked about this other, t other times, probably about five years ago, maybe six years ago. Morphine was the main drug that people were using in the epidurals for women when they're giving birth. Now, I'm not saying people were getting addicted to morphine, but it's kind of strange now. How are people getting addicted to fentanyl? And I, I, they're, they're accusing these... These... These drug dealers from Mexico, these cartels, and it's coming across the border. Well, that's fine, and that's all fine and dandy, yeah. But it started somewhere. I think we got to accuse the big pharma for getting mothers addicted to fentanyl. And then on top of that, even worse, is the children. I mean, these children are, are weighing usually on average about seven pounds when they're being born. They're getting that fentanyl through the mother when they're being born because it's a painkiller that they give through the epidurals. In 2002 is when they switched everything over from morphine to fentanyl in the USA. The UK, for example, they use heroin, yes. And much of Europe uses morphine, but then you got home births or natural births. They use nothing. You're not going to find... I, I would love to see a study where... You've got the comparison between people who did natural births without any kind of drugs and then people who used the fentanyl. 100% of the births now where they use an epidural, it's like 77%, 78% of all births are done with uh, through an epidural. They're using drugs. So anyway, the whole point of this video is for me to share with you the video I just saw about the Congress testimony.